Hey, this is JNM with the Blender animation tutorial for shooting with this turret. The model is already rigged, I select the armature and then I enable in front so that you can see the bones. And for creating the animation I will need a dope sheet, so I will open a new window. Then I select the dope sheet and I want to create an action that I can export to game engines and for this I enable the action editor. And I drag out another window, the timeline, with that I can control the animations, you will see this in a moment. Ok, for creating the animations I have to go to pose mode, you can select it here or you press Ctrl Tab. In pose mode you can rotate or move the bones and since the mesh is already rigged, it is following the transformations of the bones. In the previous tutorial I already explained how to rig a low poly mesh like this turret. You see we can rotate the parts separately and to create the shooting animation we have to move these bones here to move the part of the mesh to the inside and the outside and store keyframes to an action. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is to create a new action. I name this for instance turret shot. Then I go to frame number 1 and we create the first keyframe. With the bone selected in pose mode I press the I key and select location. This means for the bones we don't have to store rotation or scale, just the location. You can store these keyframes by pressing the I key and you have to be in pose mode. But another way is to enable auto keyframe insertion when you go to the timeline and press this button here. Then every time I change the rotation or the scale or the location of a bone, a keyframe is inserted at the current frame. So when I move the bones now to the inside, you see that at frame number 3, where the playhead is located, a new keyframe is inserted. Then I go to frame number 4 and move the bones to the outside and this is directly the next frame so it will look in the animation as if the part suddenly shoots out. Ok, now I go to frame number let's say 7 and move this slightly to the inside. The goal is here that the animation should look natural, as if the part springs back a little bit after the shot. So go to frame number 10 and press Alt G, which brings the bones back to the original location. And another tiny movement I do at frame number 15 and again at frame number 20. I return to the original position. Alright, so let's see if this works. I press Ctrl Alt P to limit the range of the action to the area where keyframes are located so we can easily preview the animation in a loop. And this looks quite good in my opinion, but of course this isn't natural because when you fire such a turret, the whole thing is moving. There's a recoil and we have to animate this. And to do this we use the same technique. We go to the first frame but this time we animate the root bone. I select it in pose mode, snap the view and then create the first keyframe. For the first keyframe I want to store the current location and rotation of the bone, so I press I and create a keyframe for location and rotation. This entry lock rot. Oh, I see I could have started at frame number 3. So I add the keyframe again because actually the movement starts at frame number 4 when the inner part is moving abruptly to the outside. I rotate it backwards and also move it a bit upwards. And then at frame number 6 for instance, I bring it back to the original location and rotation. To do this press the keys Alt-R and Alt-G. And now I use the same principle as before. To make it look more natural, I create a kind of springy motion. Very small tiny rotation and location changes to make the animation more believable. 
I speed this up now a bit because this is all the same technique, creating keyframes and adjusting the values for rotation and location of the bone. Ok, so let's have a look at the animation and it looks quite good for the short amount of time that we invested. I disable auto keyframe insertion now so that I don't insert keyframes by accident. I really hate it when this happens. And as you can see I can for instance rotate this bone while the animation is running. And of course we can do this in a script as well, for example in a game engine like Unity. So let me show you in the end how to export this as FBX with the action with the animation included. I select the armature and the mesh. Then I go to File, Export, FBX. And I store the template here to export to Unity with the following selections. I export the selected objects, the mesh and the armature. The deform bones only and I don't add leaf bones. I choose to bake the animations and I export the actions but not the NLA strips. Then I export it to a project folder of my Unity project. And then I can see it here in the inspector and preview the animation. Ok, how to use it then in your game with colliders, animator controllers, C sharp scripts I will show in one of the next tutorials. So hope you like the video guys, if you do then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to support me, be my patron, follow me on my social media on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. If you have any questions add these to the comments below and I'll see you soon in the next one here on JNM.